Hi everyone, uh, my name is Stephen and this is going to be my new YouTube channel, Mormonism with the Mirth. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my channel. Uh, so it's going to be looking at the truth claims, the history, the doctrine, the policy of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is a keen personal interest and passion of mine. Uh, I've done a lot of research over the past couple of years and it's something that's very close uh, to my heart. So before I go into more details about my channel, and about my motives, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and my story. Uh, I grew up in the church. Uh, I went to primary, I went to seminary, I went to young men's. Um, I had spiritual experiences in my youth. I felt like I had a testimony of the church was true and a testimony of the Book of Mormon and of the prophet Joseph Smith and of the plan of salvation. Uh, at age 19, I went on a mission to Canada, Alberta and served for two years and was teaching people about the church and the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. And I had an amazing experience there. I loved all the people I met, uh, I loved the culture, and it was really uh, a strengthening experience for my testimony. When I came home, uh, I continued to serve in callings and continued to work on my, uh, my testimony. Uh, I had some tough challenges when I got home, uh, but whenever I was 22, I was trying to help a family member who had lost their faith and who was no longer believing in the church, trying to help this family member to, to come back, you know, to be a good member missionary. Uh, but in order to help this person, I knew that I needed to, to listen to their concerns in order to understand them and to, to resolve. Um, I'd never gone looking for anti-Mormon material or looking to find fault or criticisms with the church were kind of counseled to avoid anything that um, is against or attacks the church or Joseph Smith. Uh, and I didn't really know much about it, uh, but she started sharing with me some of her issues and concerns. Um, at first, I was very uncomfortable and, and also felt like these things can't be true. But as she started showing me sources and showing me that these things were actually verified, on the BYU website in the Journal of Discourses, in the History of the Church, in the LDS Gospel Topics essays. Uh, that got me interested and that got me really going down the deep dive uh, into uh, church history and looking at the truth claims. And you know some of the issues that, that I encountered were, for example, the different accounts of Joseph Smith's first vision, um, anachronisms in the Book of Mormon, the King, use of the King James Bible, in the Book of Mormon DNA and the Book of Mormon and that American Indians um, or Native Americans don't descend from Israel but from Asia, uh, the Book of Abraham translation and how Joseph Smith's translation of the Book of Abraham doesn't match Egyptologists' translation, the Kinderhood plates, uh, Joseph's involvement um, in treasure hunting and magic growing up, uh, the Book of Mormon translation with, with the stone in a hat, um, that Joseph Smith was a Freemason and part of Masonic rituals is similar to the endowment uh, ceremony in LDS temples. Joseph Smith's polygamy, um, false teachings and changing revelations by past prophets and, and there so many more things. Um, but eventually I, I lost my faith and I no longer had a testimony and left the church for a short period of time. I won't get, get go into the details, but I had certain experiences in my life that um, I felt led me back to the church and uh, restored my faith again in God. And I felt like he was calling me to come back. Uh, when I returned to the church, um, I wanted to try to find answers to the doubts and to the questions and the issues I had. Um, I put a lot of things on the shelf. And I've been going to faithful sources such as Fair Mormon, um, certain YouTube channels such as uh, LDS Evidences, LDS Truth Claims, Saints Unscripted. And I've, I've wrestled and struggled with um, trying to come to a conclusion on, on some of these matters and what the evidence and the sources say. So part of me doing this channel is a way for me to navigate through all my thoughts and through all the research uh, that I've gone through um, and to present it in a very sort of organized, concise way. But my other motivation for wanting to start this channel is that I didn't know about any of these things really until I was 22. And I grew up 
in the church. I'd read the scriptures. I attended seminary. I was at church nearly every week. I served a mission and I did not know about these things. And I think a lot of people that leave the church over um, issues in, in church history or with the church's truth claims is they feel uh, betrayed or they feel like the church either lied to them or wasn't completely honest or forthright in their history that they kind of tore a bit of a whitewashed narrative. Um, and I have huge empathy because I felt like that at one at one moment. Uh, so I have huge empathy and understanding of the people who feel like that. And there's people who have been in the church 30, 40, 50, 60 plus years who don't know about these things. And I feel like it's only right, uh, unless people don't want to know, some people don't, some people aren't interested, some people are fine. Uh, but for those people who, who want to know the evidence, who are curious, who want to find truth uh, wherever it leads, um, I believe these people should be informed on the church and its history, whether it's faith promoting and good or if it's not faith promoting and bad, um, but that they should have access to that information because really important decisions are made uh, based on the information we're given about the church, whether or not we join the church, whether or not we devote our lives to it, who we marry, where you live. Um, so it's really important, uh, I think, for people to know this information. Um, so if you're interested, please follow, please subscribe to my channel, please like and share the videos that I will be sharing, give me feedback. Uh, if you feel so inclined, please support me. I'll have a PayPal um, uh, link in the description where if you want to send me a donation, that would be very kind as I'm going to be giving up a lot of free time to do this channel. Uh, but I'm not doing it for the money, I'm doing it because I'm really interested and I want to try to help people. Um, I want to make it clear about my motives. My motives are not to destroy or attack anyone's faith. Um, it's not to attack the church. Um, I am currently active and, and believing um, and neither are my motives to try to convince people the church is true or to be a, an apologist or defend the church. It's really to be as objective and as fair and to share the evidence, both good and bad, um, so that people can make that informed decision. Now, each of us are biased and each of us, we tend to want to only listen to the information that supports our worldview or our, uh, our beliefs and ignore the things that go against it. Uh, but I'm going to try to to be um, as fair as I can be, as objective as I can be, to look at both sides, look at both sides of the arguments so that people can make a a fair and an informed decision. Uh, so I'm really excited to start this podcast. I'm going to be diving into a lot of the church's truth claims, uh, some of the controversial aspects of its history, doctrine, policy, the things that you wouldn't necessarily hear about uh, in Sunday school. Uh, so please, please follow along, please uh, support, please share this, and I will see you all very soon. Take care, everyone.